first of all we will discuss about the genetic basis of cross pollinated crops due to cross pollination heterozygosity get rise and homozygosity get decreased generation by generation it means heterozygosity is directly proportional to cross pollination while homozygosity is inversely proportional to cross pollination now what is heterozygosity it is the percent frequency of genes present in heterozygous condition in a population heterozygosity is directly proportional to crossing over and it is inversely proportional to linkage now we will discuss about the breeding methods in cross pollinated crops we can use three methods mass selection ear to row method and recurrent selection first of all we will discuss about the mass selection method in this method seeds are collected from superior plants which are produced by open pollination now these seeds are mixed up as a mass to grow next generation suppose there are six plants in a field plant number 1 3 5 and 6 are superior so plant number 1 3 5 and 6 are selected and their seeds are collected now these seeds are mixed up as a mass to make large seed lot now this mass of seeds is used to grow next generation mass selection is the oldest method of improvement in traditional crops we can describe the mass selection method by generalized outline in the first year 200 to 500 superior plants are selected from a genetically variable population allow the open pollination to occur collect the seeds from selected plants and mixed them as a mass in the second year next generation is grown by mass of seeds this developed generation is called as improved population now seeds are collected from this improved population yield trials are performed seeds are multiplied and finally these seeds are distributed in farmers the second method we will discuss about is ear to row method this method was developed by hopkins in 1908 this method is extensively used in maize crop we can describe this method by generalized outline in the first year 50 to 100 superior plants are selected from a genetically variable population allow the open pollination to occur now collect the seeds separately from selected plants in the second year individual plant progenies are developed now select the superior plants from superior rows allow the open pollination to occur now collect the seeds separately from selected plants in the third year all the activities of second year are repeated now mixed up the collected seeds yield trials are performed seeds are multiplied and finally these seeds are distributed in farmers the third method we will discuss about is recurrent selection in this method allow crosses in all possible combinations replicated yield trials are performed and repeated selections are carried out this method is a modification of ear to row method now what are source populations those populations from which inbreds are separate out are called as source populations normally the probability of getting a superior inbred 
from any population is depended on frequency of superior genotypes present in that population. There are four types of recurrent selection. Simple for GCA, for SCA and reciprocal. First of all, we will discuss about the simple recurrent selection. Suppose there are seven plants in a source population. Plant number 1, 3, 4 and 6 are selected as they look superior from other plants. Allow self-pollination in these selected plants and get separate seed lots. Now use the separate seed lots to grow individual plant progenies. Now allow crosses in plants in all possible combinations. Above 5 steps are combinedly called as one selection cycle. Two or more selection cycles are repeated in simple recurrent selection. We can describe the simple recurrent selection by generalized outline. In the first year, Superior plants are selected, allow self-pollination, seeds are collected separately. In the second year, individual plant progenies are developed, allow crosses in all possible combinations. Now mix up equal amount of seeds obtained from each cross. In the third year, mixed seeds are grown, now repeat the activities of first year. In the fourth year, repeat the activities of second year. Second type we will discuss about is recurrent selection for GCA. Now what is combining ability? It is the ability to produce superior hybrid upon hybridization. It is of two types. GCA means general combining ability and SCA means specific combining ability. GCA is the ability of a plant to produce superior hybrid upon hybridization with general plant. While SCA is the ability of a plant to produce superior hybrid upon hybridization with a specific plant. Now what is tester? It is a plant which is used for hybridization with different plants. Following varieties can be used as a tester. Open pollinated variety, synthetic variety and double hybrid variety. In this method, seeds are collected separately from those self-pollinated plants which show high GCA. Now these seeds are used to develop individual plant progenies. Suppose there are six plants in a source population. Plant number one, three and six are selected as they look as superior. GCA tests are performed and allow self-pollination for these selected plants and obtain small seed lots. Now seed lots with high GCA are used to grow individual plant progenies while low GCA seed lots are discarded. Now allow crosses in all possible combinations. Above 5 steps are combinedly called as one selection cycle. Two or more selection cycles are repeated in recurrent selection for GCA. Now what is GCA testing? In each selected plant, some flowers are crossed with tester while other flowers are allowed to self-pollination. Suppose there are 4 flowers in a plant as shown in the diagram. Now 2 flowers are allowed to self-pollination and obtained a selved seed lot while other two flowers are crossed with tester plant and obtain a crossed seed lot. 
Now replicated yield trials are performed for crossed seed lot. If it shows more yield then it is superior hybrid and parent plant shows high GCA. And if it shows less yield then it is a inferior hybrid and parent plant shows low GCA. If parent plant shows high GCA then its self the seed lot can be used to produce individual plant progenies. We can describe the recurrent selection for GCA by generalized outline. In the first year superior plants are selected allow self pollination and cross with tester plant on the same parent plant. Seeds are collected separately. In the second year crossed seeds are used to perform replicated yield trials identify the parents showing high GCA. In the third year individual plant progenies are developed by the use of self de seeds allow crosses in all possible combinations mixed up equal amount of seeds from each cross. In the fourth year seed mixture is used to grow a plant population. Now repeat the activities of first year. In the fifth year repeat the activities of second year. In the sixth year repeat the activities of third year. Third type we will discuss about is recurrent selection for SCA. This type was proposed by Hull in 1945. This method is just similar to recurrent selection for GCA. The major difference is as follow. Here tester is superior inbred. By the use of this selection yield of population increased by 5.5% per selection cycle. Fourth type is reciprocal recurrent selection. The idea of this method was given by three scientists in 1949 Comstock, Robinson and Harvey. In this method two populations A and B are improved simultaneously. For improvement of population A, population B is used as tester and for improvement of population B, population A is used as tester. We can describe this method by generalized outline. In the first year, superior plants are selected from population A, allow self pollination and crossing with tester B. Superior plants are selected from population B, allow self pollination and crossing with the tester A, collect the seeds separately. In the second year, replicated yield trials are performed, identify the superior progenies with high SCA. In the third year, individual plant progenies are developed, allow crosses in all possible combinations mix up equal amount of seeds from each hybridization. In the fourth year seed mixture is used to develop new population. Now repeat the activities of first year. In the fifth year repeat the activities of second year. In the sixth year repeat the activities of third year.